Ntabi Seng Ramaboa, aka Chef and Tea, has an international cooking show, restaurant, and popular cookbook. In six years since losing her successful fashion and facilities businesses, she has reinvented herself in a wholly new career. Hi guys, Chef and Tea, restaurateur and cookbook author. Today I am so excited. I'm in Bramfontein at my favorite spot, the JFF Rooftop Farm. I'm hosting a picnic. I've got a few friends coming and I'm getting my produce. Of course, I brought my sous chef, so let's go. <laughs> so for me, working with local suppliers is a must. We really love the fact that um, we are trying to reduce our carbon footprint and make sure that we are um, growing our food responsibly yep. um, so that our customers know how their food is grown, yeah. where it comes from, yeah. um, and prepare it with love. I mean, a good recipe is as good as the ingredients that you use. So guys, this is what I really love because I can harvest my own produce. What do you think? Should I use this in the tzatziki or the iced tea? Because it has a bit of sweetness. I would think that this would be really nice for the iced tea. Uh -huh. And then the spearmint would be fantastic for the tzatziki. Fabulous. Oh, I, I chose chefing. I actually feel like chefing chose me because I've been cooking. I've been cooking from when I was 13. I'm one of those with, uh, friends, when I'm, my friends when they're in my neighborhood, told me, are you there? Because they know there's food at home. I'm the one cooking. When everything went down, I decided if I start over, I want to do it from my point of passion, the same way I did with fashion, because, you know, work is part of our life. So for me, I believe that work should be an expression of what I love. Okay, Negan, I think I've got enough. I'm just going to take some pots to go and grow in the kitchen, but I feel like it's time I go and cook now. Okay. And get my picnic ready. Thank you so much for stopping by. After financial misfortune, the Soweto-born entrepreneur had the self-belief to sell her home, cars, enroll in chef school, and start again in food. This is an exciting day for me because this is a space that I use as a restaurant. I also use it to curate content. We are shooting how-to recipes, three of them today. So I'm glad you're here because you're gonna catch all the behind the scenes. Hey, Pedrico. Sure. What's good? Good, good. All awesome. Well. Are you ready, ready to, to work? go? Yeah, we're yeah. good to go. Fabulous. Right. Chef in Tea has always been a hard, um, hard working woman. I've known her for years now. He, she's an African woman. She loves African food. Every time I'm here, it's just, you know, uh, we have to eat all the time, you know, after we, obviously after we work. What sets her apart is the business mindset that she's got. But I love the food, um, it's amazing. I'm a floral designer, floral artist. Um, my company centralizes around decor, art decor. It's the marriage between nature and art. Um, food goes, you know, with decor. So this is how myself and NT have come together. Finally, the marriage of both worlds. So I bring the flowers, I bring the beautiful things. She brings the amazing food. Starting a business is one thing, but being able to thrive in multiple industries is another. And that's what my friend Chef and Tia has done. She is, she's been in the fashion industry and she self-skilled to become a chef. Not only owning the market, but coining the space. Um, releasing a book is not easy, going to Dubai, being booked for shows. I think it's so admirable, especially in this climate, to be versatile, to thrive, to own your space, you know, from scratch. That's what I admire the most about her. Okay guys, so for our first recipe, we are going to make dessert. Berry and lemon no-bake cheesecake. As you can see, no stove is on. All I have is just my ingredients. Berry and lemon, I've got some raspberries, I've got some strawberries, obviously my lemon and some brown sugar. I've got my tennis biscuit for a bit of crunch because we need a bit of texture. I've got my lemon cat. Okay, I've got cream cheese and I have my sugar. And that's it. Well, this is recipe number two. We're still doing picnic vibes because it's summer and we love to be outdoors. Now this one is meat free. So I'm making a Mediterranean dish. They call it gyros. It's actually just pita bread that is stuffed with deliciousness. 
This is now recipe number three of our picnic vibes. We are making vors because proudly South African local is lekker. I've got my lamb vors, the very thin one. I like it because it's so dainty and it cooks quicker. So I'm adding flavor. As you know, vors has already built in spices in there. There's about five spices, salt, pepper, um, cumin seeds, all those delicious things but then I want to build more flavor with it. With her book, My Modern African Kitchen, a hit, chef commissioned renowned artist Cyril Kutsia to paint her portrait from the cover photo. It's, it's amazing. I love to collaborate in this way with a portrait subject because she had a very particular view. So it's the first time I've actually done a painting from a pre-existing artwork, if you know what I mean. I think the really difficult technical challenge was, was rendering that, uh, that costume because there's so much detail in it. Chef and T is quite a photorealist painting. Okay, friend. So we are finally unveiling that portrait I was telling you about. And I'm so excited because I kept it a secret from this one. Okay, so drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. <laughs> right? Wow. How cool is this? This is cool. It actually looks like the cookbook <laughs> cover. <laughs> now you are published and also what do we call it when it's now in a portrait? Uh, like the queen. <laughs> <laughs> is this painted on pencil? This is painted. Oh my gosh, it's oil. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like if you touch it, you can even wow. feel the textures wow. of it. Wow. Oh, guys. Oh, look at the eyes, it's so yeah. Cyril, thank, I know, right? Cyril, thank you so much. This for me is one to keep for a lifetime, even. <laughs> Chef Nti had the courage of her convictions to reinvent her career, and every second of it confirms she was right. My love for food literally saved my life because I, I don't think that you know, had I found this Jenny, I would be the same, this happy, because for me, it's not work. I would cook for free and people want to pay me to do it, you know? So uh, food saved me, for sure. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. From me, Chef and T, I am signing out. Thank you, the Inside ISA. Mwah.